Well, this is a nice way to start the new update. At least that's still in. It's kind of an easter egg-ish, but not so much because it's been in the game for that long that unless they've changed the message it says, it's on about the destruction of the void, which predates the second dream. Wow, that's uh, that easter egg's actually pretty old. But anyway, hotfix 27.5.4 is basically a uh, few fixes that we had fix for the massive amount of particles and let's not talk about what else is going on in there. There were some movement changes to the night wave that I want to quickly go and have a look at but the Cephalite Resonance is now linkable in chat and the fixed an er a script in the era for mounted turrets. Our enemies on mounted turrets. In the crime scene they have made the movement speed the same as it is in the Leverian which means that you can move a little bit better now than you could before because before it was a bit slow it took you a long time to get from one clue to the other I mean this one laying down here if that's when I saw that one it takes way too long to get over here still no jumping but you don't really need to jump round in this because it is a limited space anyway because if you try to go out of bounds there's a giant red wall that stops you from going there and there's another one so you can move around in here quicker, which is great actually. There are also four new augments, the first being Rubble Heap. This is available from Raid Veil and Steel Meridian. This is a augment for Atlas's passive, meaning when you have more than 1,400 rubble, landslide costs no energy. It will deal twice the damage and move twice as fast. Then there is Abundant Mutations, this is from Steel Meridian or Parent Sequence. It is of course another passive augment, this time for Nidus when he uses his Undying. This will have a 30 second cooldown so you can't use it straight away anyway, but I'm pretty sure gaining 200 additional stacks at max. Ooh, yeah, that will actually help a lot with his undying if you get into a situation you need to use it every 30 seconds then there is enrage this one's for Valkyrie. this is from new loka and the parent sequence i don't see why these still have question marks in the codex when you actually come in and have a look at it, it in the syndicate it tells you what it is anyway it's a hysteria augment for Valkyrie that basically gives you 200 percent damage increase 200 percent crit chats increase the hysteria lasts for 15 seconds and receives a cooldown of 15 seconds. It actually just says matching cooldown, but it, I doubt it's going to have a cooldown of 200%. It's got to be 15, 15 seconds, which just says matching. And it is part of the same sentence. Then there is Revealing Spores, available from Red Veil and Steel Meridian. Do I have to say who that's for? It says Spores. It is so obviously going to be for Saren. Now... The spores augment any infected enemy by spores within 40 meters will show up on the minimap. I can think of so many better things that could have been done for spores, especially if you are running Animal Instinct in your Sentinel, or running the mod that does exactly the same thing. Kind of a letdown to be honest, but if you don't have those, then yes, that will actually be useful, because being able to see those red dots on the minimap is actually very very useful because let's see there's animal instinct 18 meter radar now uh, now i'm starting to understand the 40 meters and why it is 40 meters uh stealth drift that's only an 18 meter radar enemy sense 30 meter radar enemy radar is a 30 meter radar and primed animal instinct is a 33 meter so 33 seems to be the furthest so yeah actually looking at these 40 may actually be useful didn't even realize that one was a thing because let's be honest even normal animal instinct who doesn't have either a sentinel or a companion with them who is probably running animal instinct anyway uh, that's why i don't run an uh, enemy radar in any of my frames anymore because animal instinct exists and the sentinel has it but 40 meters um, pretty sure Banshee's only 35 with Sonar, so that actually is possibly one of the longest, furthest ones. I can see this causing a lot of issues, 
with people complaining about it because there are so many other things they could have done to spores than added enemy radar to it. Any infected enemy will show up. Problem there is any non-infected enemy won't show up unless you have an enemy radar mod equipped and then they'll show up anyway. Yeah. I'm going to try that out but it's got to be questionable. It is useful because that 40 meter range is going to make this a very useful augment if you use spores all the time and you can infect the entire room with it. Kind of down to the look of the spawn for that one and at the same time, hmm, I don't know. Could be good. I'm not going to make my mind up on this but I run Animal Instinct anyway so kind of useless. I'd rather keep that mod slot for damage rather than enemy radar. Sadly, that is about it. It's just the basically the four augments and a bunch of fixes for other stuff and the running speed in the crime scene for Glass Wave Clue 1. So, I think we'll leave this off here for now. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you next time.